Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a love reading. Um, and <clears throat> just without giving details, basically we're going to be looking into a, um, a relationship that this client is in and we're going to see is this um, relationship going anywhere in the future? Is it rewarding to this person? Um, is there a connection between the two of them? Are they both on the same page? And is there anything that's blocking them? So let's look into it. Um, I'm going to be using the Art of Love Tarot. I'm also going to be working with the Psychic Tarot and any other deck. I have so many decks here on the table <laughs> that are just like falling into place. I, I love doing that. I like to just have decks around me. And then if I feel called to pull one, I'll pull it. So uh, let's see what's going on here. So... First off, let's just look at the energy between the two of you to answer that last question of like, are you on the same page? Like, what do you both want out of this relationship? Let's look at that. So that's what we're going to talk about first. Okay. You and him, okay? This is this is you and him. Your pile is just a tiny bit more than his. Intuitively, and that's me feeling like the two of you are on the same page. Like you're both even, you're balanced, okay? You more so because I feel like you're more excited. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have Page of Trees, the Dreamer, and we have Seven of Angels, Progress for him. So for you, the energy of you is dreams, okay? You're dreaming big. You're aiming towards the light. You're seeing all of the greatness that can be and that can come out of this relationship. You are looking at it long term, and you are definitely looking far ahead into the future. His energy is progress. He's more patient. He is much more rational in his thinking, um, but he is also definitely hopeful. So seven of angels, or this is the seven of swords, um, which is definitely kind of saying, <sighs> when we're looking at the seven of swords, and, and mind you, the art of love tarot is very different from Rider Waite. They don't always match. But in the Rider Waite, the seven of swords is um, somebody who's, who's moving forward. They're sneaking off, but they leave stuff behind, okay? Um, I don't feel that energy with this card, but I will say, um, making sure that you two are both 100% honest with one another, um, and communicate carefully. I feel like that's just something I need to add in there. Communication is going to be very, um, very necessary for you two to remain on the same page. Are you on the same page? I feel in, in, energetically, I feel like yes. I feel like the cards kind of, they, they give me that feeling like you guys are definitely balanced. Um, but I feel like you are the one who has a tendency to go off on a tangent and to really like float off into like the future of 10 years from now. <laughs> Where he is a little bit more um, established in his presence. He is more focusing on right now, maybe, maybe a couple months from now, but he's not thinking 10 years from now, okay? <laughs> So that's like the vibe I'm getting with that. Um, so let's la, 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 let's pull some psychic tarot here. So let's look at let's look at him first. Let's put you here. Shadow, material harvest. We have um, patience and planning in reverse. He can be a little spontaneous, okay? He can be a bit spontaneous with his plans and the things that he wants to do. Um, but he is working right now on his material harvest. So his finances are very important to him right now. Um, his work is important to him. He's really trying to just get everything in order. He's really trying to, you know, make sure he makes amends. He, make, he pays the bills. He has, like, everything in place. He feels very, um, like... Um, organized. He's an organized person. Um, he feels very clean. He feels very, he just wants, he just wants to make sure everything is taken care of. Okay. He doesn't like to have loose ends. He doesn't like to feel off balance. Like he, he needs everything clean, 
um, organized and, and just good to go for him to feel good. Um, the shadow though, this is like, this is like a little bit of fears. He has a little bit of skeletons in his closet, I feel. <laughs> and I don't say that in a negative way. I just say that there's, there's probably going to be some stuff about him that you're going to find out the further you get into this relationship. Um, that maybe I don't want, I don't want to say it's going to scare you or surprise you, but it will definitely be, um, just some stuff like there's maybe some issues in his past. Um, and maybe it could have been a, a a major relationship that he was in there's a, there's there's a, there's a there's a couple things there <clears throat> the other thing with the shadow is um <coughs> i feel like he's constantly learning lessons he's constantly learning lessons that have to revolve around some of the biggest fears that he has in life um i also feel like he's constantly like at odds with himself because you see in this card you see the individuals kind of looking at themselves as if it's a mirror image so maybe he's either constantly at odds with himself or he's fighting himself or he's he's just constantly in reflection. He's self-reflecting and he may not know that he does it, but he, you know, that's that that is something that pops up every once in a while with him. Um and I like that this card for him came up as progress because I feel like he's he's very much devoted to bettering himself. Um, bettering his future, bettering his finances, his job. He wants everything aligned. He wants everything organized. Um, and he wants everything to feel good. So that's where he's coming from. And that's the kind of element that he's going to bring in a relationship, by the way. Um, he's going to bring the element of harvesting. He really will be a breadwinner. He will be the kind of person to help the relationship grow. He's going to be very organized in the relationship. He will probably be the person handling the bills. Um, he would be the person just making sure everything is neat and tidy and, um, he will put the effort of making things grow and progress. He's a, he's always going to look at making sure you guys are communicating and, you know, he will check in. So, but there may be some little shadow moments that will pop through. This could be, you know, self doubts. This could be maybe emotions, emotions emotional withdrawal maybe he has some depression this could be an ex that might be bugging <laughs> it could be a lot of different things but regardless I feel like um I don't feel bad energy from him I feel really good to be honest so let's look at you what would you bring in the relationship so we already established that you're looking long term you're looking in you know 10 years from now you're looking you're very high hopes and you're future oriented um, but let's see what the cards reveal for your future aspect in the relationship. All right. This one wants to come out. Shadow again. Okay. Spiritual strength. Fertility and reversed. So with you, not sure if you want to have kids, but if you do want to have kids, um, this process might be to take it slow. Um, fertility might say it might take a while, a little bit, you know, or this can show maybe if you don't want to have kids, it could show that you're, you know, no. <laughs> but I mean, I, in either way, don't be alarmed. It's just, I take reverse reverses in time frames as slowness or um, delays, okay? Um, the shadow aspect, this is very important for you. Don't bring baggage into the present. So make sure you, you keep yourself in check with that. Um, I also feel like you have your own shadows and I also feel when he starts to really come forward with you about some of the stuff that he went through in his past, um, I feel like you guys are going to have a lot in common there. So my intuition tells me that there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to be like, wow, I went through that or you're going to have the words of wisdom to be able to share with him to help him through what he went through. The other thing is spiritual strength. Um, so your spiritual strength in the relationship, you being able to hold down the fort when things get tough. Um, you're going to be the one that brings the, the faith and the spirituality aspect into the re relationship where he is more material and making sure the bills get paid, that kind of thing. And like I said, with the fertility um, in reverse, this could be slow moving with pregnancy or if you don't want to have kids, that kind of thing. Make sure this is something you guys talk about, especially if you see this relationship 
truly evolving in, in a direction of being serious. Um, so that's that. <clears throat> Let's look into the future. Will this relationship be rewarding? Will it, you know, what kind of struggles, conflicts, what's popping up in the future? Any blocks, that kind of thing. Because right now I'm seeing that the two of you are good. You're in that sweet honeymoon phase, which is always a good thing. But let's see what the future shows, what the cards show. So the first batch I'm going to pull is the future. The second batch is going to be any conflicts, anything to watch out for. We have clarification, three of angels, four of hearts, depression. We have knight of trees, custodian. Six cents, queen of hearts, two of stars, boldness. Ace of stars, creation. There's going to be some, some rough patches, okay? So coming up in the future, like I said, with him, I feel like it's more so him. Um, I feel like he gets kind of little feelings of depression that might be something he hasn't shared with you or maybe something he's not comfortable with sharing but I feel like you will be able to relate because like I said the shadow card came up for both of you guys um so I feel like a lot of the things that maybe um bug him you'll know like it's it's kind of like you guys are in tune with that and that might be why you feel so connected to him um you both have had a past okay and I feel like there's a lot of things that you both can relate to one another um, so that doesn't worry me with the three of angels, the clarification coming up and the four of hearts with depression, because I feel like when one of you is struggling, the other person is going to know exactly how you're feeling and how to say it, how to express, um, advice and guidance. Um, so I think that's really powerful to be honest for the two of you in the relationship, but I do feel, I do worry that, um, a bit too much of the depression or just feeling kind of lost, um, drawn in your emotions and whatnot might cause a bit of a rift at times. So future sense, you know, it's going to be important. We have the Knight of Trees. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Patience, okay? Being very patient in that process. Um, don't rush the other person to do things they're not ready to do or to, um, to commit to things that they're not ready to commit to. Make sure you guys are gauging each other's needs. Um... There could be issues of the past popping up. And like I said, that could be an ex, an ex on your end or their end. Um, there's just a lot of, there's a lot of things that have not yet been revealed. And that will happen later on as you guys grow in your relationship. But I do feel there is some stuff that's going to co come up. He may, you know, share with you um, a piece of him and, and vice versa. So I don't want to like go too much into that because I feel like that I want to save. I want you to have that experience with just him. It's it's meant to be intimate between you two. Um, but I do feel like there is some emotional, um, just some emotions that are going to have to be addressed there. As far as like what to watch out for, it's kind of funny because this to me feels like what you should watch out for. Um, but what to watch out for, I feel the two of stars, we have boldness and queen of hearts. Um, which is the Queen of Cups. So it's kind of like um, nurturing and like listening and intuitively feeling like, you know, you, you connect with him in that way. But then it, uh, also we have the Two of Stars, which is um, um, <sighs> boldness or um, be careful with how you express yourself to him. <laughs> be careful of how you say things because I feel like there's times where he's going to need you to be more sensitive but then there's times where he's going to need that little kick in the ass kind of thing. Like that's intuitively that's how I'm feeling with that. A queen of cups, which is you, I feel like we all know, we, we all know, I know, you know, you're intuitive. Um, but at the same time, sometimes the intuitive, the soft approach that a queen of cups would usually bring into a relationship, sometimes you need that little boldness there, that little kick in the ass kind of thing. Um, and then we have the Ace of Stars. We have creation. So I feel like there's a lot of like um, new things that the two of you are going to be creating together. Aces, you know, the, those are new beginnings starting over. There's a lot of new stuff happening around you guys in the near future. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be creating a home together. I feel like if, that, if you register that as moving in together, that is a possibility um, if it hasn't already happened. 
I also feel like there's just a lot of, there's a lot of adventures you guys are going to be going on. <clears throat> um, I see the beach. I see this as like waves. I don't know. It's reminding me of waves. So maybe the beach has a significance with the two of you, um, or a vacation or something, but I feel like there is, um, new stuff can, that's going to happen, new experiences. And you guys need that. You know, you're going to need that in your relationship. Enjoy it. Don't overanalyze everything that they say and you say and just be natural. Um, I feel like that's a big message for you is just be natural in this relationship. Um, there's issues with the past of past lovers. You both have that. Um, but don't let that keep you from just being completely organic in the way you approach this new relationship. Um, I feel like you're going to have the tendency to be super critical of your actions and the things you say because you don't, you don't want it to fall on the same, like the same path of like that an ex did. Um, just be natural. I feel like that's like the huge, the biggest, um, the biggest piece of advice I can give you is just be natural with the way that things are. Um, because I feel like, I feel like that's just going to be, that's going to be best for you. Um, leave the past in the past. But of course, <clears throat> when he starts sharing with you about his past, I feel like you're going to be able to relate. I feel like you guys have so much more in common and you don't realize it yet. And that is why the connection feels so strong. So, I hope that answered your questions. Let's just pull just for some advice now. Advice for you and how you, you know, treat a relationship. Three of trees, dedication, exploration, the path, and then the queen of hearts, sixth sense. Trust your vibe. Trust your intuition, your feelings on this situation. If you feel like this is meant to be, go with it. Don't doubt your feelings. The path of exploration. This is for you to completely explore this relationship with new eyes. Don't bring in the baggage from the past. Don't worry about the past and the way that things were with someone else. Don't worry about the outcomes of the past. This is a whole new path of enlightenment for you. This relationship is new. It's fresh. It's surrounded by abundance with the greens, but we have like this golden path leading to the light. I love it. I feel like it's a, it's definitely a meant to be relationship that you're in, whether it lasts or, you know, whatever happens at the end of this tunnel, don't worry about that. It's like explore and, and, and just enjoy it for what it is right now. And then we have the three of trees, which is dedication. Be dedicated to your lover and yourself. Um, I also feel like to say, don't worry about the outside noise. Cut out all of the other people. Don't let them get to you. Don't let them influence you. Don't listen to them. It's you and this person. It is just the two of you. Um, I feel like that's like an important message there. Um, I just feel like really the theme of this relationship is to just be organic. You two have gone through the things you've gone through, but it doesn't mean that that has to influence the way that you are in your relationship now. So just be organic. And then we have master, protect, and time. Time is patience. With time, things change and evolve. Give it time. Don't set a timeline for when you have to be legit and when you got to get married and when you got to do Don't worry about all that stuff. And then protect is, you know, protect what you have. Be protective of each other. But also, like, I feel like protect is, like, cutting out people, outside noise and influences and just people who have, like, a negative stance on what you're doing. Um, don't let those people in and influence your guys' relationship. Cut that out. Um, and then we have master. I feel like it's kind of saying, you guys have gone through what you went through in the past, but it doesn't mean that you're... <laughs> you're bad people you know you're not a bad person for being in this relationship regardless of other circumstances okay and you know what I mean by that um, use your experiences as a master for the future you are a master at what you do you're a master in love because of the experiences that you've had in your past um, they're not there to harm you it's actually there to strengthen you in love so keep that in mind too 
Um, I think it's that's powerful in itself too. But anyways, my love, this concludes your love reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Um, I hope that this gave you some insight and I hope that you were able to um, receive messages that you needed to hear. Um, as always, if you have any questions, you can email me, let me know, and um, I will talk to you soon. And I wish you and your lover all of the best and a beautiful journey forward. Bye, my love.